but there was a passenger that came up to me in flight. This was the fullest flight I've done since I've been here. And I really need to stop that. It's 5.30 in the morning and I have to be extra quiet because I'm flying today. But I'm flying with the other pilots, not my pilots. So my pilots are still fast asleep and I'm trying not to be super loud. But I wanted to come on here and start the vlog and get ready. So I'm gonna go about doing my business and I'll talk to you guys when a higher volume is more acceptable. putting on the rest of my uniform head out the door it's 10 to 7 right now and our pickup is at 7 15 and we're supposed to take off at 8 30 our first flight is meant to have it's supposed to be quite full as far as i understand it we're expecting 39 passengers and my aircraft seats i think i said 44 people last time but i meant to say 48 it seats 48 passengers my brain was probably fried that day but yeah it seats 48 passengers and I can't remember how many people we're having coming back, but yeah, we're just going to Kaduli and back. So each flight is about an hour and a half. Someone asked me the other day what lipstick shade I use. I use this Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. You can see it's kind of old. And it's in the shade Make It Happen. There you go. And I just use that to outline my lips and then I fill them with this Body Shop Matte Lip Liquid. And it's in the shade Nairobi Camellia because that kind of just softens up the red a little bit and then you get this beautiful color. So this is probably going to be my last flight for a while, probably like a week or two, which I'll explain to you guys more later on. I just want to finish getting everything together and make sure I've got all my paperwork and things like that and that I'm not forgetting anything and finish my coffee, all that good stuff so that I'm on time, get to the flight. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> This is nothing new, but we've made it to Kadugli. It's a very nice, bright and sunny day. This flight was so full, it was 38 passengers, but I thought I'd show you guys. Here's my galley. One thing interesting about this plane that makes it different, like very different, from a typical like 737, I guess, where usually the luggage, like the passenger luggage and cargo and stuff goes under the plane, like under the belly of the plane. Ours goes to two different places. Oh. Yeah, ah, excuse me. Yes. All right, sorry about that guys, but this is one of our cargo stowage areas. You can put cargo back there. That is right behind me. This was the fullest flight I've done since I've been here. So almost every seat was taken. The pilots usually have to tell me which section to put the passengers. And this time in the first section, every seat had to be taken. It was completely full. There was maybe 10 empty seats throughout the cabin, but in the front, everything was completely full. It was so funny because this was the first time I've had passengers in these two seats. But yeah, this is also interesting on this plane. These are my overwings, which also happen to be the very first row of the plane. But I have to give overwing briefings for anybody seated here. And when you look outside, you can see the propellers. So the people at the overwings, but these are called escape hatches. These are not called overwings. There's another cargo area here in between the cabin and the flight deck, basically, which is pretty cool. But this is the funniest part. The fact that there's like seats facing each other. I feel like I'm always coming back and going, oh, what a long day or what a hot day or something. And I really need to stop that and find other ways of describing my day. I'm sorry for the chaotic tour of my cabin it's just there was a lot of like ground off happening and people coming in and out of my cabin so obviously that takes precedent uh, there was a passenger that came up to me in flight and this is just oh my gosh this was 
terrible and so awkward for me because he was like um hi there's a couple people that don't smell too good in the cabin could you just walk through the cabin and spray some air freshener and i was like i'm sorry what now i was like oh i'm i'm, I'm not sure if i can do that so I, I would hate to like offend anybody by just going through the cabin mid-flight with air freshener you know and he was like oh can't you spray it like through the air vents or something <laughs> unfortunately that's not even possible i i just offered him to move towards the back of the plane if that was going to be more comfortable for him and he did but it was just really really funny the way he came up to me and just said that and, and to him it was just like yeah just spray air freshener through the air vents it'll be fine <laughs> but yeah as i told you guys our first flight going was had 38 passengers and it was so 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 full but coming back we had 20 passengers which was nice and that was 20 passengers including a child and I had a two week old baby on my flight today she was this big guys she was literally this big i couldn't get over it when the mom was boarding and when she was disembarking i was like oh my gosh please be careful ah. like i was freaking out on her behalf because i was just like this child is so tiny and she looks so fragile like she even cries small she was crying at some point and like you could barely hear her cry because it's just like it's it's just such a tiny voice and a tiny little body i just oh my word i she was the cutest thing but she was just like ugh, this big just fragile and tiny and i just like that makes me so nervous like, two week old two week old the second flight was good also no issues at all all day um it was very very hot though and bumpy on the descents i know i did say earlier that this is going to be my last flight for a while it's going to be my last flight for like a couple of weeks because as you guys know we are constantly like on a rotation so there are three cabin crew members that are doing this space and this set of flights and whatever and so right now two of us are on this contract and obviously there needs to be a third one that comes to replace my line trainer when she goes home and then she's home for a month and then when she comes back she'll basically be coming back to replace me because then I'll be going home and as you guys know we generally do two weeks on contract um, not two weeks two months on contract and one month at home so I have been here for just over a month at this point I think this is my fifth week here I'm supposed to be going home in a month but at this point it seems like I'll be here for another couple of weeks because the next crew member that is here actually just flew in this morning like an hour or two ago i'm about to go and meet her i've never met her before she's also new to the atr so she also needs to spend the next week or two doing her familiarization flights training flights and assessment flights done so my line trainer has to stay a couple of extra weeks to sign that other girl out basically to do all of her training flights and everything like that and then she can only go home and once she goes home i will have a month left because she will then be spending her month at home and then she'll be coming back to replace me and then i'll get to go home and spend a month at home so it's like a whole continuous rotation i hope i explained that well i hope i made sense but yeah basically that's just the gist of it and basically because this other girl has to have her assessment flights and all that done that means they're gonna be flying for the next week or two however long it takes her to do all those flights don't worry i will not be bored i will not be twiddling my thumbs i actually do have exams coming up i have one more assignment to submit and then i have three exams in the next two weeks so i will be full on studying it's it's kind of nice for me that i've got this downtime from flying that i can focus on my studies but yeah overall it was a good day fun day a nice quick day honestly we weren't delayed or anything everything was perfectly on time and it is 1 47 I'm home, I've changed, I've put on some gym clothes so that I can work out a little bit later. Not right now because it is still boiling hot, probably around like 6 or 7 tonight. But yeah, I am starving. I'm going to go find something to eat and stuff my face with. And then I will catch you guys all on the next vlog. But thank you so much for spending this day with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again soon in the very next one. Until then, please continue spreading good vibes and being kind. Bye guys. <laughs>